So in this one, we're going to mark in the doorways for the internal and the external doors. So let's get started. So to begin, I'm just going to select this ground floor again and tab into edit mode. So if I switch now back to vertex selection, choose vertex, control R. I'm just going to add in two edge loops here. Same thing up here and the same thing here. So for this, I'm going to get a segment for my width and I'm going to go up for 1200. So if I box select this, I can zoom in and I can scale it up on the X to 1.2 meters. Okay, I'm just going to zoom out and I can actually select both of these now, press G, X and just snap that over. Same thing with these, G, X and snap that over. So what I'm actually going to do is shift select both of these vertices get a segment over here and I'm going to zoom in and box select these. So what I want here is three meters. So I'm going to zoom in and scale on the X, scale this right out to three and left click. Okay. So that's going to represent the doorways and I'm just going to X these dimensions. So I'm going to switch to face selection, select these, three doorways and press P and choose selection. So if I tab back now to object mode, select them. I'm just going to rename these to ground floor external doors, press enter. So the next thing I want to do is create some geometry for the doors and the direction of their opening. So I'm going to tab into edit mode with this selected and I'm just going to zoom in here. So if I switch back again to vertex selection, I can select these four Verts here, shift S, maybe cursor to selected, shift A and add a plane. So what I want to do is make an outline for this. So I'm going to scale this on the X, scale it into something like this and scale it on the Y. So roughly the width of the doors. It's not too important for the moment. So what I might do is select this vert here, shift S cursor to selected. I'm going to press the period key and choose 3D cursor. So we can pivot on this. So with this vert selected, I'm just going to press L and select this. And I'm going to press R and negative 90. I'm going to press G and X and snap this over here and G and Y and snap it down. And I'm going to zoom in here. I can drag this down a little bit. Maybe G and Y, snap that up there. Okay, so that's just going to represent my opening. The next thing I want to do is create a semicircle. So again, I'm going to press Shift A and I'm going to choose circle. I can scale this up slightly just to kind of match the door there. And I'm going to press E to extrude, right click, and I'm going to scale this down a little bit, but not too much. I don't want a very thick line on this. I just want the, the outline really. Okay. So left click, I'm just going to zoom out, press A to deselect. I'll press B again, select these, select these careful not to select vertices that I want to keep I'm going to zoom in over here select select these okay so with these selected I'm going to press delete and choose vertices and now if I zoom in up here select these two verts I can press GX and snap them back here okay so that's just going to represent my door openings and for the moment what I might do is separate these so I'm just going to hover the mouse press L and press L on this one, press P and choose selection. So if I come back to object mode, I can select it and I can rename this up here then to ground floor door openings. It's really just to keep things organized in the scene. I'm going to zoom out now and I'm going to tab into edit mode. Just press A once or twice. So shift D just to make a copy. Just drag it up here, left click. I'm going to switch back to the medium point and I'm going to press R and negative nine zero. And I'm going to press G and X and snap this over here. Maybe G and Y and snap this up. Drag this over a little bit more. Zoom in, so G, X. Okay, and that gives me the position of my opening there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go around and just add these to the remaining doorways. And I'm also gonna add one to the front door here and a double door for the garage here. But otherwise that's going to do it for this one.